So followers of this channel know that uh, this is mostly old heavy radios and I find it's harder and harder to take old big radios into the woods and uh, and work uh, work with them in the field. So I've started to kind of evolve into contemporary, maybe some QRP radios. And so we're going to look today at the Elecraft uh, K1. Um, it typifies um, a backpack radio, but it's well so well made physically. Um, the metal case is just so robust. Um, I, I probably would not hesitate to um, put it in with other uh, crushables and worry about it being uh, damaged in the field. It's built like a tank, so very, very well uh, made. <clears throat> I, I'm not sure I would be as comfortable with uh, some of the other QRP radios that I've seen. So let's take a closer look at the Elecraft uh, K1 and see uh, see how it works. Okay, so let's look at the inside of the K1. This one has the uh, four band module and the auto tuner sits on the top. This is the auto tuner board. The uh, KAT1. And it's very quick on finding a uh, finding a good match for most antennas. I've had good luck with that. Hard to see the rest of the motherboard uh, below the basic board. But um, <clears throat> very well laid out, as with all Elecraft stuff. Um, good, good thinking behind the uh, development and the build. Nice thing about the K1 can have four bands. This one has 17, 20, 30, and 40 meters. And to get to those bands, you would simply double tap the band and change. So 18, 7, 10, 14, and 18. So you, you can go quickly through the bands. And uh, as you do, the frequency reads out uh, first the megahertz and then uh, the kilohertz. So uh, if I tap it once, I get 14 megahertz, 0, 4, 0, and then it automatically then goes to the uh, w wherever it is past there, dot, whatever. Um, so very nice tuning is very easy to do, uh, very simple to, uh, to go from band to band. Okay, so let's uh, quickly go through the menus here just, uh, just to give you a, a flavor of it. Uh, just tap the menu button. Um, and you'll go into the menu <clears throat> out for um, uh, power out, uh, which you can um, set to one to seven watts. Um, side tone volume, um, pitch, QSK delay, uh, repeat to so auto repeat delay for messages, um, keying device input, uh, hand key, uh, etc. Uh, iambic mode A, a B. It's an A when it's cap cap A. Um, AGC on or off uh, LED um, for uh, the lights for uh, XIT RIT <coughs> attenuation LEDs, whether on or off. Um, crystal filter position, so two to nine hundred hertz filters, and you've got a choice of uh, three of those. Uh, band assignment uh, information uh, Cal. For operating frequency, calibrate uh, off or on. Uh, signal S meter zero, so you can do a zero set for the S meter. That's nice. Uh, noise blanker, uh, the auto tuner if it's so equipped, and then uh, a programmable function if you uh, so desire. Listening to uh, the any of the KX3 uh, on CW, uh, they just have a great sound. The K1 uh, happens to have a, a very excellent built-in speaker. Uh, I think one of the better built-in speakers uh, of any QRP rig with a built-in speaker. Um, you're going to use headphones uh, a lot, of course, on CW uh, with QRP radios, but the built-in speaker really makes it easy. Uh, and the sound of the audio uh, is just 
very compelling for a, uh, a QRP radio. Very hot receiver, uh, very excellent receiver. That's the Elecraft K1. Okay, a fun radio.